Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number. 44. Day, day 3044. 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 44. We are on page number 253. Today we'll discuss point of intersection. We are given the equations of two lines as you can see clearly on the blackboard. And our job is to figure out where do these two lines cut each other, where do they intersect, where do they meet. Let's find out, shall we? So here's line 1, there is line 2. We're going to Instead of line 1 and line 2, let's just call them equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1 and equation 2. So you can see, if we multiply the second equation by 4, we'll have the same coefficient for x. Whereas, if we try to get rid of the y, we'll have to do twice the work. We're going to have to multiply the equation 1 by 2 to make the 3 into a 6, and then multiply again the equation 2 by 3 to make that into a 6. Why do twice the work? Let's just take equation 2. Let's just take equation 2 and multiply it by 4. And that in turn implies, we're going to take equation 2, multiply it by 4, x becomes 4x, 2y is going to become 8y, and 2 times 4 is 8. And equation 1, we can use, equation 1, we can use just the way it is, which is 4x plus 3y, we are 2 equals 13. Let's subtract, let's subtract the bottom equation from the top equation. I was about to say let's subtract second equation from the first equation, but that will be confusing because we are not subtracting the second equation from the first equation. We are subtracting the first equation from 4 times the second equation. So let's just subtract, let's just say, let's subtract the bottom equation from the top one. And if we are going to subtract it, it's always a good idea to change all the signs. This positive 4x is going to become negative. This positive 3y is going to become negative, And this positive 13 is going to become negative. Now we can do our job because this positive 4x and this negative 4x, they're going to kill each other. That was the whole point. 8x minus 3y is going to, 8y minus 4, 3y is going to give us 5y equals 8 minus 13. Keep in mind, this is a minus 13 and that's going to give us minus 5. Multiply both sides by 5 and y equals negative 1. Very simple, very straightforward. And now we can put that value of y in either of those two equations to figure out the value of x. We're going to use the second equation. Second equation is simpler. Second equation implies that x equals to 2 minus 2y. Second equation implies that x equals to 2 minus 2y. Let's put the value of y in there. 2 minus 2y. y is equal to negative 1 we found out. Negative times negative is positive. So it turns out that x is equal to 4. The point of intersection we just found out. What is the point of intersection? It is 4 and negative 1. Well, that's all. We're done. Now at this point, we're going to take a few moments and actually plot the two lines because, because it's just what is done. It is done in the book. We're going to reproduce the work that you see in the book by plotting the equations, by, by plotting these two equations. We're done with finding the point of intersection. Let's plot them. Let's work on the equation one first. Let's, let's work on the equation one first, and we're gonna we need the room, so we're gonna do it here. Equation one is right here. It says 4x plus 3y equals 13 when y is equal to 0. Well, this is gonna be very awkward. This is gonna be bloody awkward. I don't know why I went there, but we have no choice. When y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, 4x equals 13, and x equals 13 fourths. When y is 0. Where is y 0? y is 0 along x-axis. So its x-intercept is 13 fourths. 13 four. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And this is 4, which is same as 16 4. This is 12 4. So 13 4 is somewhere here. 13. 
and when x is, so that's when x is equal to 0. Now let's put, that's when y is equal to 0. Now let's make x equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, this is going to drop out and 3y is equal to 13 and y is going to be 13 thirds. y is going to be 13 thirds. Let's do it up here. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. We just have to be reasonable. So this is 3, which is 12 third. 13 thirds is going to be somewhere here. Oh, there you go. That's our first. That's our first line. First line. First equation. Keep your fingers crossed. If it doesn't look very nice, it's not going to look very nice. Obviously, it's, it's, it's not going to be. It's not going to be very satisfying. But it looks something like this. Let's work on the second line, shall we? Very quickly. Let's work on the second line. See what happens. Let's do it in a different color. Second line is this one right here. X plus 2y is equal to 0. When y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. That's very simple. x is equal to 2. When y is equal to 0, that's right here. Now, and when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, 2y has to equal 2, which means y is equal to 1. That was very straightforward. y is 1 right here. Oh, this one is quite straightforward. This is where it cuts it. But as you can see, it does not line up. We found the point of intersection to be 4 and negative 1. It does not line up, see? Because it's not drawn to scale. So, this is 4 and negative 1. The 4, 4 has to move, this 4 has to be moved here. This is 4, not that, that's 4. And negative 1 was way up here. It's, it's coming down, it's coming down somewhere here, here. So this is our negative 1. We have to erase this part right here. That's negative 1. It doesn't, it doesn't come out very nice because I'm doing freehand, obviously. It's not drawn to scale. But that's what it was. Point of intersection. Very simple. Very straightforward pro problem. There is no reason why you shouldn't expect something like this in the exam. It should take only a few seconds to figure out where the two lines intersect. Simple simultaneous, simultaneous equation. Very simple simultaneous equations. Just solve them together and find where, find where the point of intersection is. Tomorrow, what we're going to do is going to be a little bit more complicated, not a lot, just a little bit more complicated because tomorrow we will be on page number 254 and there we are not looking for point of intersection, there we are looking for what is known as the solution region because we, are not, we will not be dealing with equations of the lines, we will be dealing with inequalities of, of lines. Uh, we will be dealing with inequalities and the question there would be what is the solution region? Not, not, a, not a point of intersection, not a point of solution, but what's the solution region? That's, appear, that's going to appear in the next page, on the next page, on page 254, and that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And after that, we'll dive into parabolas. Do you understand? Bye now.